Hi friends. Uh, today I wanted to have a little chat about the most recent book that I've read. Um, it's called Leviathan Wakes by James S. A. Corey. And I read this electronically, so here is the cover electronically, which uh, I can't, yeah, maybe it'll show up that way. Yeah, so it's kind of got a okay cover, I guess. Um, Leviathan Wakes. So this is actually part of, of the Expanse series. And what happened is um, I had never really paid attention to this series. And um, in early November, I guess, I heard that the Expanse series was about to be made into a series that's going to be, that is on Sci-Fi Channel. It started in uh, a week or so ago, a couple weeks ago. Um, although I think the first episode um, was online or actually on YouTube to watch. Um, but anyway, so it's out there already started. The series is started, but early, early November. So I decided, hey, you know uh, what I'm going to do? I was really excited about the series and um, I was looking for something to kind of Get in, get into. So I thought I'll read all of, see if I can read all of the Expanse uh, novels before the series starts. And this would have been, I think there's been like five maybe or six. Um, I think there's five maybe. Um, I don't remember actually now at this point. So I set this goal like, okay, well I'm gonna try that. So I started with um, the first one, Leviathan Wakes, and I, um, well. That's how I got started to read it. Now I'll go into it a little more differently in a minute. Um, so the books. So this particular book is set in a future world. It's our solar system. Um, and the solar system has basically been colonized by, by humans. And then there's a the power structure of the solar system is basically divided into three... Um, regions there's earth there's mars and then there's the beltway the belt the kuiper belt um the belt has colonies on asteroids and things out there so and then there's you know the moon and there's other there's you know moons of jupiter and whatever um well anyway so it's set up um it's got this really uh that's the world that we're in um, there's a conflict uh, between Earth's kind of like the dominant power. Mars is very strong, and they sort of have a superpower relationship. They tug back and forth between them, Earth and Mars, and then everybody else sort of gets pulled into their you know drama or whatever. And then the belt is um, basically maybe what today we might call third world, where it gets exploited mainly for its resources, and it um, feels that it has um, less power and is actually uh, it's being exploited by the other two. The other two main powers are Earth and Mars. So um, that's sort of where we are. Um, the book itself, um, I won't go into too much because of spoilers, and uh, so I won't give too much of the plot away other than just sort of a general uh, view. So it's it's got a real old school kind of noir feel to it, which that's actually part of that's actually one of the things I liked about the book. It has really an old-fashioned, to me, old-fashioned science fiction. There's a mystery, and then there's an adventure. Um, the first half of the book is this kind of this mystery, um, and then the second half of the book is this this action, um, uh, you know, adventure that they go on. So it's very militaristic. Um, I did not terribly enjoy it. I didn't um, hate it. Um, but I didn't, you know, it's not something that I, that I jumped into and just devoured like I was expecting. I was really expecting it to be really my kind of, um, space opera, sci-fi, and it, it really drug for me. And I think the reason why is because it really just had this feel that, um, it was, a manufactured plot, if that makes sense. I really got the feeling that it was using plot devices from TV and 
previously done work for the last 50 years um, to just keep a story moving. And um, I didn't feel that the world that it built was that convincing because mainly there's this, that really central to the whole story is this conflict um, between the powers, Earth, Mars, and, and the belt. And that did not come across as convincing to me at all. I, I it was real old school, kind of World War II territorial um, bombing and stuff. And it just didn't feel convincing. Like that didn't feel like a potential future for the solar system. I mean, there's definitely could be a future of the solar system of different powers that are conflicted with each other. I think so. Yeah, that's almost certainly to happen if there are different Earth, there are different human communities on different planets and on different uh, asteroids and whatever or what space stations and etc. There's probably going to be disagreements and conflicts among them about how to use resources, etc. But the way they resolve these conflicts in kind of a militaristic way, um, it you know the 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 solar system basically becomes a giant ocean with ships that sail, and um, I don't know. It just didn't. It seemed. Um, it didn't seem futuristic to me. It seemed like somebody, it seemed like a story being, a, to, a story using today's mores and today's structure, you know, setting it out really into the future. So the story, the central plot did not feel convincing to me um, to begin with. And so that's probably where my problem with the whole book stemmed from is because almost immediately I didn't feel it at all. Um, the initial story takes place on Ceres, which is an asteroid in the belt. And um, it's really kind of this Wild West kind of place um, with violence and prostitution and, you know, all this could be true in a, in a future, in a future belt asteroid there could be this sort of thing uh, but these kind of there's a cop one of the main characters actually is a cop on Ceres and you know he wears a fedora kind of thing you know so it's kind of like a Sam Spade kind of like San Francisco circa 1945 with Humphrey Bogart or something um, solving these kind of like going to fights and crimes and murders and stuff and I don't know I didn't, I didn't buy it. I just didn't buy that whole thing. Um, and then the second half is, was a little bit more believable in a vague way, but I, I don't want to give that away, uh, what happens. I just will say there's corporate power in the solar system is very powerful. Corporations are very powerful. Now that future I can believe. Uh, so that part I can actually sort of believe, but what they end up doing didn't seem terribly plausible to me. Um, so that was another thing that I kind of didn't believe. And so did, anyway, it was like I was watching a TV show. It's like, okay, well, this is, it was entertaining, you know. Like, okay, well, this is fun, you know. And then, and all right, well, you know, that happened, that happened. Oh, okay, cool. Well, so but it was on this kind of like really to me very superficial level, and it's just not what I was. It's not what I was expecting, number one, and it's not what I was really in the mood for. Um, that type of story is fine to me sometimes, but it just wasn't what I was expecting at that point. Now, the characters themselves are another problem I had with the with the book, kind of. They're really pretty stereotypical. Um, the cop is, you know, this world-weary guy. Um, and then the other kind of main character is a captain of a ship, of a, you know, a ship, I guess you could say, uh, uh, and spaceship. <laughs> um, and they're just sort of, they're, I don't know, they seem to be sort of 
in a way stereotypical for their roles. The captain is this, you know, uber responsible guy and everything. And then the, this burned out cop is this world weary, you know, like cynical about everything or whatever. So I didn't really get into their characters either. And then another very big problem that I had with the whole story in general is it was somewhat, I would say, misogynistic. It wasn't hostile to women. There are women characters in it, but they were so poorly drawn, I thought, um, that it just felt to me it felt old kind of masculinity kind of just it felt old fashioned. It felt like an old fashioned view of, of women. Um, the two main women characters in the book, uh, I won't give a lot of that away either because it would be a spoiler, but both of them, of course, um, the, uh, the main men, male characters, you know, they all think they're hot and, you know, it's a sexual thing. And then the women characters that aren't sexualized are basically men with women's names. Um, they're captains. There's a couple of captains of other ships that are, are women, apparently. And yet, you know, you don't get that. Um, and then the, um, the, the police chief on the series, you know, she's kind of... Um, she's, she's a woman, but she's, you know, she's not sexualized, but she's also so blankly drawn um that it she has no 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 depth so the rest of the crew the other thing about it is that it's a bunch of dude bros um you know this is the solar system of the future so they do there is a language like the belt uses this mismatch of languages that it's hard to understand because there's German, it's Hindu, it's Chinese, it's English, it's French, it's all in it's all in Spanish, it's all mixed together, Portuguese. Um, so that part, you know, okay, that was a little a good touch to add to the world building. But other than that, they're basically all dude bros. Even if they have like an Indian name, they behave like a dude bro. Um, so I just I just didn't find it rich or um, an enriching kind of world building at all. And to me, that's really you know we have to I have to have that in order for me to get lost in the story. So to make a long story wrap up this long story that I've probably kind of rambled on um, for the rest of the books in the series, I am not uh, going to read at this point. Um, I may touch base and watch a little bit of the show. On TV, it would be a different experience to probably see it in a show, you know TV show format. It might be actually you know fun in that in that regard. But I'm just uh, at this point, I'm not going to devote uh, time to actually reading um, the rest of the series because it doesn't seem it's exactly what I'm looking for right now, and my time would be better spent elsewhere. So. Anyway, that's it. I wanted to share that since I finished this book a couple of days ago and before it completely, uh, you know, while it's still sort of fresh in my mind, I wanted to just give a, have a brief chat about it. So until uh, next time, take care.